All right, child, let's get it. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, so this is going to be on April. We already got three of Swords Heartbreak. So this is going to be on April Jones and Tay Things. Tay Diggs. I want to know if they are a thing. So I want to get some um, energy on the both of them. Like I said, I do feel like they are a thing for some reason. That's the energy I'm picking up on. But already looking, we got the Three of Swords energy. This is bad breakups, bad divorce, um, heartbreak, um, stabbed in the heart, dark energy. Could be somebody's in their emotions or feelings. This can also mean like if you was doing business or in some type of group, there was um some the group could have broke up. It's the energy I'm picking up on because I am picking up on April's energy, Tady's energy, and I'm also feeling like. Lil Fee's energy is going to come out as well. I do feel like Omarion energy is going to come out as well. So, this could be Omarion's energy coming out where she uh, betrayed him, stepped on his heart, 144, and fucked over a divine uh, human being. I feel like she is a jump off, a bust down. So, they'll say back home in the shot. So she'll fucking bust down. I feel like she jumped from one person to the next. I'm getting groupy energy. It's sad because you got kids. I don't know how many kids she got. But like I said, I do feel like uh, Omarion felt betrayed. Lil Fizz betrayed Omarion. They was cool. This bitch was sitting up here fucking his goddamn um his so-called friend or associate, so they say. Spirit, give me some more energy um, surrounding Tay Diggs and April Jones. I want to know if they are a thing. Spirit, show me if they are a thing. Are they together? Spirit, show me if Tay Diggs and April Jones, show me if they're together or not. Are they a thing? Are they trying to uh, start something new? We have the Two of Cups. Wow, I'm expecting that to come out. Okay, so I'm guessing they are a thing or trying to become a thing or trying to build something. Or they were friends and now he could be offering to her a deeper commitment, some deeper, much deeper beyond the surface than friendship is the energy I pick up on. That's what I'm feeling. That's what's up. Okay. Um, Look what is I finna ask. So I ask if they are a thing. You can clearly see that. Okay, Spirit, can you show me? Spirit, can you show me if this is a serious relationship or is this just something sexual or for social media? Spirit, show me if this is something deep, something on a sexual level. Spirit. Is April Jones and Tay Diggs relationship on a deep level? Let me see the sex. Okay, so. Mm. Okay, so we got the moon. I'm a wrong with it. Shit. We got the moon that can be secrets, lies, gossip, or something coming to light. It's the energy I'm picking up on. 
could be some illusions or things of that nature. Then we do got the lover's card. Mm, so this is deeper than sex. It's the energy I'm picking up on. But then we also got that tower moment. Uh, uh, well, we got that five of pentacles. So somebody was left in a cold. I'm guessing in the past, motherfuckers, there, in the past, there were some bias secrets, some illusions, things were hidden, and things of that nature. But, and some people were left in the cold when it came to finances, work, love life, home, stability, and things of that nature. Where this can be a uh, motherfucker left in the cold when it comes to their heart, their feelings, their emotions. And things of that nature. And there could have been many towers in April's life when it came to love, because I do see the lover's card. It's also the energy I'm getting or picking up on. I do feel like that has had that had to happen. Because she needs some soul searching and some healing and things of that nature is what I'm getting. We got the sun, happiness, joy, healing. You know, that's what I'm feeling when I see the sun or sunshine. Spirit, what else is it that you need me to know about April Jones and Tay Diggs? What else is it that you are trying to show me about April Jones and Tay Diggs? Okay. All right. So I do feel like um, there was some some sorrow, some self pity. Um, self doubt when it comes to when it came to her emotions. I'm also getting um grief, um losing someone. Um, I'm also getting motherfuckers been fucked over when it came to their heart or emotions or she has fucked people over or took a lot of L's when it came to love it's the energy that I'm picking up on or motherfuckers been fucked over when it came to love you feel what I'm saying what goes around comes around it's the energy that I get I do see this king of pentacles laying right here so we got the king of pentacles and looking at this King of Pentacles, I feel like this King of Pentacles is showing me and telling me that this is Tay Diggs' energy. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like, um, how can I put it? I feel like Tay Diggs is possibly stable. It's the energy I get. Looking at um at this King of Pentacles, um, I also feel like you know he wants to possibly settle down. I feel like he could possibly he could also be really into her. Is the energy I pick up on looking at this King of Pentacles and mentally. Could be mentally, physically, and emotionally. I feel like their relationship, they've been friends for a long time. And I feel like um, that, I don't want to say, how can I put it? Okay, I feel like they've been friends for a hot minute. It's the energy I'm picking up on. But now they're starting to realize it's something much deeper than what they had. It's the energy that I get because we do have the two of cups and the lovers. 
And looking at the Loves card, I do feel like they slept together before. I was going to ask Spirit if they had sex before. I most certainly feel like they did. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm going to roll with that. And then looking at this King of Pentacles, I'm also getting, he's very strong, a father figure. Um, I'm also getting marriage. There could possibly, this could possibly be something deep. Is the energy that I get. Um, I'm also feeling like Tay Diggs is very down to earth. Uh, very committed. You feel what I'm saying? Very nurturing, affectionate, loving, caring, uh, very mature, very stable. I already said that. Um, when it comes to uh, growth and stability, he likes to give back. And I feel like he wants to bless her, not just on a physical level, but mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. I feel like he wants to bless her in every aspect or in all areas of her life. Is pretty much the energy that I'm picking up on. I got another question written down over here too that I want the spirit to uh, answer or to show me. Okay. I don't know where to begin. We got the Ace of Cups. Okay, I'm going to put this, this uh, deck down. Okay, Spirit, let's get to the other day. 11.55, what is Tay Big's preference in men? Oh, I'm sorry. Shit. Uh, what do Tay Diggs prefer as far as genders go? What does Tay Diggs prefer as far as genders go? What is Tay Diggs' preference when it comes to men and women? We have secret and reverse. I don't know what the fuck the secret could be. But we got secret in reverse though, so I'm gonna put that hole right there by uh three of swords. And it's sitting right above the King of Pentacles. Okay, let's see. Okay, Spirit, what is Tay Diggs' preference? What does he prefer? Men? Does he prefer women? Or is he bi? Spirit, what is Tay Diggs' preference? And we got drugs. Maybe motherfuckers engaged in a little drugs here and there. We got um social media. So I'm getting the energy of when she was going through shit in her past life, her breakup, betrayal, lies, deceit. And things of that nature, that shit was all on the blogs. People was criticizing her dating history, for example. Um, off top, the first one I know about her dating is Lil Fizz from B2K. Back then, when I was up on B2K, I had the poster and pictures and things of that nature on my wall. When I was younger, they went not by B2K, they went by B2 Gay. Now, younger, when I was younger, I didn't understand until I got a little older why they was called B2K gay growing up but anywho she, April she started fucking with little Fizz first from what I know I'm sorry my bad let me correct that she started fucking with Omarion first then she started fucking little Fizz from the group B2K you feel what I'm saying I think she fucked with Wiz Khalifa Dr. Dre and now Tay Diggs. So she has um a dating history. 
I asked Spirit. Now, this car was flipped over. Y'all just see me flip it over and it say close friend. Uh, close associates, friend, cousin, and coworker. But when I flipped it, bitch, over, we got three way. So, this is telling me already what I need to know that he's in both, into both sexes, men and women. So, he's the man. He don't mind sleeping with another man and a woman involved or two women and things of that nature. So I am picking up on he likes both sexes, men and women, when they came out. So spirit already answered that. You feel me? So yeah, I'm um, trying to see what else I can ask. What else can I add? Mm. Let's see, Spirit. Um, can you show me or clarify if this relationship with April and Tay Diggs is it going to last? Mm -hmm. Is this a relationship with April Jones and Tate Diggs? Is this relationship going to last? Wow. We got the tower in reverse. And we got bad energy. So, I guess Spirit is telling me maybe this is something just for fun of the past time. It's the energy I'm getting. Because you just never know. But we got the tower twice. Tower upright. When it comes to the lover's card. And then we got the tower again in reverse. Spirit. Okay, we got addictions. Okay, so they got some addictions. Whether that's drinking, sex. Um... Drugs, it's addictions, money, addictions in general. We have music, rappers, mail, and instrument. So we got addictions and the tower in reverse. So this is showing me that um, this might not work because <laughs> what if I got some addiction? It's an attachment to the devil. You feel what I'm seeing? That's what I'm picking up on. And then next is black magic and spells. So this is just something to pass time. Is the energy I'm picking up on? And looking at that cups card, motherfuckers drink too. Looking at this water and shit in these cups up here. Like one of the addictions is drinking. She might have an addiction to rappers or people in the industry or the entertainment industry or the music industry in general. Those could be her addictions. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, and I do feel like uh, what she did to Marion and if she dogged any other niggas, just basically uh, her baby daddy, I feel like whatever she did is coming back to her because we got spells. And then we have black magic in reverse. So I do feel like um somebody put doing some black magic to put some black magic on her is the energy I'm picking up on. Then we got hotel room and demonic. So yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people got the evil out, eye out for her. It's the energy I also get. We got sex. So maybe this could just be about sex, something on a sexual level. Because from the looks of it, it looked like shit was going to possibly work out. Until I kept reading and pulling these motherfucking cards and the tower came out again. Then we got change and swords. Trap in a sad face. Wow. 1944 karmic. Oh my God. 
That's crazy. Then we got kids, child, and teen. So he could have kids. I think she have kids though as well. Somebody has a codependency issues and attachment issues and things of that nature. That could be her energy. Is what I'm getting. This shit crazy, bro. This shit is crazy. Okay, y'all. Um, I don't know if I want to pull some more. But should I pull some more or what? Let's see. Here, please give me some um some more messages. Anything hidden or blacked out that we need to know about Tay Deeds and April Jones. What is it? Mm. We got the devil. Yeah, some addictions, attachments, codependency, karmic relationship. It's just about sex, addictions, and things of that nature. It's the energy I'm picking up on. We got there is most definitely going to be a change or a transformation as well. You feel me? So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I'm fucking getting, y'all. I think I'm about to close this reading out, y'all. Um, y'all have a blessed night.